Hello, it's Wendy Capewell, your relationship specialist. And today I want to talk about ignoring the warning signs it, that things aren't quite okay in your relationship. So many people ignore the warning signs that things aren't okay in their relationships. They either get so wrapped up in their career, their children, pastimes, other friends, they don't realise they're neglecting their partner. And it can take quite a few years before one or other of the partners speaks up and they say, I want out. I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. I've had enough. I want to move on. I don't love you anymore. So how can we pay more attention to our relationships? Because they are so important. You met and set up home or got together with this person because you really love them and there's someone special in your life. The problem is that this fast moving world with all its pressures create a problems for us because we have too many things to deal with. And it's not surprising, is it, that something has to give. And because we feel that our partner loves us and that we're secure in that relationship, that it will be okay and they will always be there for us and they will understand. So it's quite a shock when they don't. Our lives are so pressurised and many of the things that take up the majority of our time are really important and it is hard to manage all the things that we need to juggle. I just ask you to stop for a moment. Ask yourself, what is your purpose of life? What is it that you really want in your life? What's the reason that you're working? Maybe you are a workaholic and it's the one thing that drives you in your life. And that's great to have that purpose in life and that drive is a wonderful thing. But if part of it is to provide a good life for yourself and your family, then you need to stop and think about it. Ask yourself why your hobby or pastime is taking up so much of your time. Is it a distractor? Is it that you aren't really happy in your relationship or maybe not all your needs are met? Ask that yourself that question and does that mean that your life isn't balanced? You are not spending that precious time with your partner. Ask yourself, why are you focused so much on your children? Yes, we know they take up an incredible amount of our time. They are really energy suckers. As much as we love them, and we love to spend time with them, and they are very demanding, but is it at the cost of you neglecting your partner? Are there times when you use it as an excuse, or you are ignoring your partner? After all, your children are as a result of your relationship. You chose to have them together because you loved each other. So is it right to put your partner behind everyone else? Because if you do that, if you put them second, you'll have a second rate relationship. Even worse, they may not hang around at all. And then you turn around and wonder what happened. So think about it. Think about all those things that drive you and take up your time. And just set aside some time to be with your partner, to spend time together, not just with the family, not just as a family, but with your partner significant other, that special person you chose to spend your life with 
and set that time aside to be together and enjoy each other's company. Because it's no good saying, refocus on our relationship when the children get older, when my career's off the ground, when I've just got that one more promotion. Because your partner may not be there anymore. And sadly, it's a story I've heard so many times and it's all been too late. So don't leave it too late. I hope you've enjoyed the episode today. And if you have, then please subscribe because there's lots more interesting people that I'm going to be interviewing in the future about all kinds of things relating to relationships. I'd love you to leave a review and let me know what you think about this podcast. And if there's anything special that you want to be included, then let me know. My details are all in the show notes. So until next time, all I have to say is thanks for listening and goodbye now. Goodbye.